Hey y'all, welcome to another edition of Grilling with Bubba. So we got something uh, different we're gonna do today. Been on this tamale kick lately, so uh, we're gonna make some uh, uh, chicken tamales, but y'all ain't gotta worry about that. That's not what the main point of this one is. We got a lot of stuff going on here. So you can see we got some chicken breast. We're gonna go ahead and use for that. But what we got here is we got some white meat and dark meat turkey breast. So we're gonna get that smoked up. We're gonna make a tamale pie in a cast iron skillet okay. on the smoker. So that's gonna be our fun for today. Also, you can see we got all these uh, beautiful vegetables here. We got some tomatillos, uh, serranos, poblanos, and jalapenos. We're gonna make a, a green salsa with that. We're gonna make a salsa verde. Then we got a whole a bunch of these uh, Roma tomatoes. We're gonna go ahead and make a red salsa too. So, uh, we got a lot of stuff that uh, we're gonna have going on. We'll show you how to put this, uh, this turkey together later. But basically, what we're doing with this, this is gonna be a turkey tamale pie. Thanksgiving turkey tamale pie, sorry, Thanksgiving. So we're actually gonna put some sage, uh, some uh, celery, uh, mushrooms, all your stuff you would put in a dressing, we're gonna put in this. And then we're gonna make a uh, cranberry salsa kind of thing to put on, on it at the end. So we're gonna have your turkey, we're gonna have your dressing, and we're gonna have your cranberry. All in one beautiful, delicious dish. So y'all hang out with me and uh, we'll see how this turns out. Uh, first thing we need to do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff seasoned up and we'll get it on the smoker. All right, y'all ready for this? So we got this smoker going right here and uh, just now got getting up to temp right there. Uh, went ahead and got our all our veggies put on there. So we're gonna let them smoke up for a while. We got this beautiful meat all seasoned up. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting this put on. We got three pieces of chicken for our tamales that we're doing. And then we got this uh, beautiful turkey breast. We're gonna go ahead and get that on there. And we'll let this go for a while. Go ahead and get some probes in it in a minute so we know what uh, what we're looking at and how long it's going to be on there. Shouldn't be any more than an hour, I wouldn't think, for uh, the size of these things. And then uh, we'll get on with the next part of it. Doesn't that look delicious? Goodness, this one's going to be fun. All right, let's check on this. Yeah. Oh goodness, you can see we got everything going. We're starting to get some good char on those veggies. A little smoke going through there. So uh, that's going to be delicious. All right, we're uh, moving right along. We got our uh, got all our veggies pulled out. We got those poblanos put in a bag to steam a little bit, so we can go ahead and get that skin peeled off of them. Then we're going to get all this put in a Whew, a blender and start making some of this sauce up. I tell you what, these are mini jalapenos that we grew out there in the backyard. You can see how small them things are. I just ate one by itself and I'm regretting it. <laughs> That's, whew, got my nose running and everything. So this ought to be some pretty spicy stuff. So we're gonna keep on with what we got going on there. Um, got my beautiful bride over here, uh, my beauty mess bride, uh, and she's uh, getting some of that masa made up, so we can go ahead and get that uh, tamale casserole done. Uh, we want to take this masa after we get it made and put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. Not for the tamales, just for the tamale casserole. Um, and you can see we got some of our other veggies. We got some uh, bell peppers that we grew right there. Um, well, I say we grew. She grew it right there. Um, and so we're going to get, uh, the bell peppers, some celery, sage, you can see we got some sage in the mortar and pestle there. And, uh, that is all going in the, uh, the casserole. So we're going to go ahead and get that, all that started up. And here in just a little bit, we ought to be starting to pull that chicken off for the chicken tamales. And we'll go ahead and pull that off and get it shredded. And uh, we'll mix it up with a little uh, uh, chicken stock. Or uh, here's what we use. 
And I tell you what, this stuff is fantabulous. So this is better than bouillon. So instead of using your bouillon cubes or buying the the stuff in the you know container that's already mixed and everything, that you can make that as light or as intense as you want. Um, so we got that one. We got one that's veggie, um, and then uh, they also make a, a beef bouillon, and uh, they make a roasted garlic one too, which is just fantabulous. So y'all to try that out sometime. But we're gonna go ahead and keep on with what we're doing, getting all this made up, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, so we're about ready to start making this green salsa. So we got our blender all set up. We got the, the uh, stems all cut off all these peppers and everything. So now we're gonna start dropping stuff in the blender. So we've got all these tomatillos, both those plebanos. We're gonna take uh, a couple of the serranos, put in there, and about half of the jalapenos. We're also going to get, if I can find a spoon, we got some minced garlic, because you got to have some minced garlic in there. So we're going to get a good amount of that put in there. And then for our final thing, see if I can make a little room here, get our cutting board. We are going to get Oh, <laughs> I guess that never got pulled out. We're going to get a bunch of cilantro. We've got our cilantro here. We like a lot of cilantro in our stuff. And you don't really have to worry about the stem so much in this because it is going in this blender and it's going to get all mixed up. So you see I just topped that. And we'll give it a rough chop. Just to kind of help start breaking it down so and so we're going to take a good amount good handful or so of cilantro and stick in this and then we're going to get a little bit of water just to kind of help get it started so that's uh maybe half a cup of water so we'll go ahead and get that in there and we'll get this turned on. delicious already lost some cilantro there that's all right go ahead and get some of this uh, put down in there and you always want to add a little bit of salt so we're gonna add a decent amount of salt that's maybe a tablespoon probably not that much and then we will get our pepper put some black pepper in there good amount oh that smells delicious so we'll get uh, about three quarters of a tablespoon of black pepper in there smells delicious so we'll go ahead and get a little spoon give us a taste oh oh my goodness that is simple and delicious you get all of those herbs now herbaceousness, herbaceousness from the cilantro you can taste all the different peppers in it. You get the bitterness from those tomatillos. That, my friends, is something everybody needs. That's just delicious, just like it is. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this poured out and put away. Go ahead and clean our blender, and then we'll grab some of those red tomatoes 
and uh, get some of the red salsa done. All right, so we got our meat off of the smoker, and you can see this uh, this turkey is looking delicious. We got the white meat, uh, we got the dark meat, and you can see I'm taking a piece off that dark meat right there, and it is absolutely fabulous. All that's got on it is salt and pepper. These chicken breasts, those are the ones we're gonna um, turn into tamales. We're gonna mix that up with some uh, green chilies. And we got that rubbed down with some of this, uh, rub some chicken. It's got some good herbs and everything in there. It tastes delicious, so that's what we'll be putting in that. So we got tamales and we got the tamale pie right here. We got our masa made up and in the refrigerator for the tamale casserole skillet, cast iron skillet thing. And uh, so we'll get that started in just a little bit. All right, so here's what we got. We're getting our uh, tamale casserole done first. So I got my chick, our, uh, my turkey. You can see how beautiful that turkey came off of that smoker. So that's the white meat. And then we had dark meat also. And I tell you what, that just came out so flavorful. And all we put on that was salt and pepper and threw it on the smoker. And that came out great. So we got our big cast iron here, letting that butter get a little bit soft. And we're going to go ahead and butter up that pan. And we'll put our masa in it, well, along with the turkey, um, some of those bell peppers. And uh, we got some, uh, what, we got mushrooms. Oh, yeah, we got mushrooms here. So we got mushrooms and celery that's gonna go in that. And uh, so we'll put the masa down first. We'll put all of our, my, our filling inside of it. And we got a little turkey gravy we're gonna mix in just to make sure that it stays moist. And this is just some of the, you know, turkey gravy you can buy from the store. And so we got that that's gonna get mixed up in there, a little salt and pepper, whatever else we decide needs to go in there. Then we'll put some more masa on top of it and we're gonna take that whole thing and we're gonna stick it back on the smoker for, I don't know, a couple hours until it's done. And in the meantime, while that's cooking, we'll go ahead and get started up on our, uh, our chicken tamales with the green chili chicken. So you got our chicken breasts there. I don't know if we'll use all of that. And uh, we got our green chilies. And another thing we're gonna put in there is this stuff right here. I don't know if you've ever used this, uh, but it's got uh, tomatillos and cilantro in it. So we're going to use that for our, our gravy to kind of get that moistened up and mixed up a little bit. And uh, that'll go in the tamales. And then we'll go ahead and put some of that green salsa that we made on there. And I bet those are going to be absolutely fantabulous. So while we're working on this, we're going to let y'all get back to the game. Uh, hopefully we can have most of this done for the Cowboys get started. And uh, we'll meet you back here. All right, so we got our vegetables started for our uh, cast iron tamale skillet uh, casserole thing. So we got uh, bell peppers, celery, onions, mushrooms in there. Uh, we'll put in some of that turkey heated up with it and uh, a little bit of that uh, turkey gravy. And that will be our filling. Okay, so we got our masa pressed down into the bottom of this pan and we got all our filling here. We got the turkey in there, all the veggies I just told you about. And uh, we went ahead and uh, put in some sage, more rub sage, and salt and pepper. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take some of this uh, turkey gravy. Go ahead and give it a good shake there. And we're just going to pour in a little bit of that. I think that's probably good. So that was maybe half a cup. We're going to go ahead and get that mixed in through here. We sauteed all this up and then we let it sit for a little bit to cool off. We don't want to start cooking the middle of this, I don't think, right away. All right, so we've got that mixed up. So we are going to pour this right into our cast iron skillet. So we've got that put in there. We'll give it a good spread. Uh, 
All right, that's looking pretty good. Man, that smells delicious. I love Thanksgiving. Let me tell you what. Everything that goes with it is absolutely delicious. All right, so we got that. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to grab a couple of gloves. There's one too many. Grab a couple of gloves. And we'll get these put on. Now we're going to take the rest of our masa mixture here. Which, it was about four cups to begin with. And we put a little over half of it in the bottom there. So we're going to take the rest of it. And we're just going to kind of dollop it through here. Just a little bit of everywhere. All right, so we got that in there. And let me save as much of this as I can because I don't want to waste it. I think we want as much moss on the top of this as we can get. So, got that. And that's just really to keep my hands clean a little bit even though I did get some on me. And we'll kind of, I think what would help, I'm gonna grab some of this olive oil spray here and spray this spatula down a little bit. Just to keep that from sticking so much. And we'll go ahead and just kind of press this out. Now we're not gonna get full coverage on this thing and that's fine, we don't necessarily want that. It's gonna have a kind of a rustic look to it. And that is sticking like I didn't want it to, but that's fine. All right, so we've got that going. So let me show you this. So, We've got that, and we're going to take that, and we're going to stick that whole thing on the smoker. Now, I've got that thing set at about 225 degrees right now, so we're going to let that roll with a little bit of smoke for a while. It impart just a little more smoke flavor in this, then we're going to go ahead and crank this thing up. Don't know what to, maybe 300, uh, 350, something like that, and go ahead and let it finish cooking. I think this ought to be done in an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So we'll keep checking on it and let you know. So we'll meet you out there by the smoker. Okay, we're back out here by the smoker. So you see we got that done. We went ahead and added a little bit more masa. Um, it doesn't quite cover the edges, but that's okay. I think this is gonna spread out. So we've got a good smoke going on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and take this whole skillet. Stick it right in there. And then we're gonna let that baby roll for a while. We'll check on it in about an hour and see where it's at. All right, so it's been about an hour. After half an hour, we went from uh, 225 to 350. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, that's looking good. So it feels all right, I think. We're gonna let that go for about another half an hour and see what we come up with. I think we'll be good to pull it off right about then. So I gotta go make my cranberry relish and uh, We'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, so here is our final product on this Thanksgiving tamale pie. So we got that off of the smoker. You can see the color on that. We made this relish that you can see here. And all that is is uh, Grandma's uh, recipe uh, cranberry sauce right there. That's Grandma's recipe. Uh, jalapenos, onions, and cilantro. And I'll tell you what, that is heaven in a bowl. So we're gonna let this cool off just a little bit because we just pulled it off the smoker and then we're gonna cut into this thing and uh, we'll see what it tastes like. All right, so we got this thing all done. It is cooled off a little bit. So we're gonna grab, I don't know, a spatula or a spoon? Let's try, let's try a spatula first. And we're gonna cut into this thing and see exactly what we came out with. Cause I, I tell you what, this thing does smell 
like Thanksgiving all day long. So we're gonna see if we can cut this up a little bit. Looks like that masa's cooked through like it ought to be. It feels good on the bottom. It's nice and crumbly. Now look at that, the whole thing's moving right there. So, see if we can. Uh, I don't know. Look like it might have cooked a little more on the bottom than it did on the top, and that's all right. We got a good crust. Oh, yeah. oh that's nice. That's a beautiful crust on the bottom that we got there. So we've got that. We're gonna take some of this cranberry relish that I made up. Put that right there on the side. And we're gonna taste this. Oh goodness, that smells like Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's definitely a little crispier than I thought it might have been, but that's all right. Oh my goodness, people. That. Mm. Oh, that is. That is phenomenal. I didn't know what I was going to expect out of this, but... See if I can get a, another piece cut off of there. I think the bottom crust might be the only downfall because it is a little bit thick. Look at this. Look at what we got going on here. That's a little close, you can't see that. But you can see this. That looks delicious. Wanna try your <laughs> going back for more man that turned out wonderful i hope some of y'all try this maybe you can come up with some different ideas about it um uh, maybe i needed to butter the bottom of that uh, cast iron a little bit better or something but i don't know this thing came out wonderful i am i am so surprised with it so Anyway, so y'all do that. We're going to keep on with our chicken tamales and everything. Uh, we've made tamales for y'all before, so I don't think we need to go through all of that. But uh, we're going to go start uh, eating this up. we got the Cowboys game fixing to start in there, so we're going to enjoy some something to eat. Go get us a couple beers and enjoy some football. Go Cowboys. And uh, y'all have a wonderful weekend.